Welcome back to Project 94 for another diecast review here on the channel. And today, we're going to be taking a look at Brad Kislowski and his 2023 Fast and All number 6 Ford Mustang for his very own RFK Racing. This is another very cool 2023 Brad Kislowski diecast that has just been released. And I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite Brad Kieslowski die casts of the year. This is a very, very cool paint scheme. And it's another Fastenal die cast. Back with the hexagon um, pattern design, which is super cool. And I actually realized, before I started making this video, this car is actually different from the busher car not just the color but the arrangement of the paint scheme it looks like it's the same design but there's actually a couple of changes that have been made on this paint scheme uh so we'll get a closer look at that during the die cast review itself but yeah guys it's another die cast with chrome numbers so gotta love that rfk racing has some really awesome paint schemes and it's really cool to have a set of these cars and i'm gonna talk about that later on in the video you could actually make a cool set with the Busher and Kislowski cars. But of course, this video right here is going to be about the Brad Kislowski car. And I got to say, this is a good looking race car. And when I first saw this car on the racetrack, I thought it was one of the coolest Kislowski cars. Because it's got that silver look to it. And I know the diecast, for some reason to me, the diecast looks a little different from the real car. I kind of recall the real car having more of like a metallic-y finish and not like a just a normal gloss flat gray like this. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I do remember this having a more silver look to it than the die cast here shows. But nonetheless, we're going to review this die cast right here. So here we go, guys. You got number six in the front. You got RFK Racing. And what's interesting about this car is that the splitter actually has a design to it. Look at that. So the little hexagon pattern continues onto the splitter which is really cool not a lot of die casts have been wrapping onto the splitter like that that's very interesting there um then you have fast and all where industry meets innovation in blue so now you have the white outline and blue letters which is super cool that's a change um to fit the new color scheme you have ford and kislowski right there you have sunoco goodyear and blue of course got yellow goodyears with dark gray rims you have the NASCAR Cup Series. You got the 75th Anniversary logo. Honestly, this thing's looking really good with the blue Goodyears matching the rest of the car. The yellow would have just not looked as good. Of course, you got the chrome number six right there. And it looks like a double printed decal right there. Look at that, guys. Looks like they double printed that number six right there. As you guys can see, looks like they had a six there and then they put another one on top. I wonder what was wrong with the other one <laughs> that they printed another one on top. That's... Quite an interesting decal error right there. You have Brad Kislowski's name right there with the American flag. Quite a generic font for Brad Kislowski. I wish he would have a more stylized font than that. Then you have Ford. You have Kings Hawaiian, Fastenal, Violet Defense, Castrol Edge. Then you have Fastenal, where industry meets innovation. Then, of course, you have Mac Tools. It looks like Doosan and Siemens right there underneath the blue Kislowski pillars right there. Then you have Castrol Edge. Then on the back, you're going to have Fastenal, RFK, Ford. The license plate with the 2023 registration sticker on the corner right there. So that's how you can tell what model year your Mustang is. Got number six right there in blue. Then you have Fastenal. You have Kislowski and Fastenal again on the roof. And now it's time for the paint scheme itself. So like I said, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I do recall this car having a more metallic-y finish. Um, instead of just this dark, well not dark, just like glossy flat finish to it. Doesn't have like a metallic uh, look to it at all. It's more of like a fool's silver color. As you guys can see. No sparkle to the paint. It's not a matte finish either. So that kind of does make this car inaccurate. If I am actually correct about the metallic-y finish on this car in real life. Uh, but you have the biofuel logo right there. And back to the paint scheme, you're going to have the blue outline, a black outline, and a white number fill-in on the number six right there on the roof. Of course, you're going to have the black outline, the white outline, and the chrome blue number fill-in. As you guys can see, a fully chrome number that reflects and shines beautifully, stands out beautifully on this car. Look at that. Very, very nice. It actually, chrome numbers make 
the colors change at the angle you look at them. As you guys can see, it turns into a light blue there, then it just goes back to normal blue, and then it goes back to light blue. Very cool stuff. Of course, get the blue number in the back and the blue number under the headlight right there, which is pretty cool. Now for the paint scheme itself. We're going to start out at the front right here, which has that blue hexagon pattern on top of the silver. It's like a trapezoid right there, just angled off. Doesn't cover the entire uh, front splitter right there. But nonetheless, you still have the black uh, spoiler, roof rails, and of course, parts of the splitter. Well, it's still a black splitter if you look underneath it. But it just has that um, pattern wrapped on top of it right there under the Ford grille, which is pretty interesting. On the front, you're going to have a very subtle pattern of the gray and light gray hexagons behind the OEM details, just wrapping around them. And the lower parts of the front bumper here, you got a little bit of tire. Oh, wow, I actually got it off. There's a little mark right there. On the lower portion of the design in the front bumper behind the OEM details, you've actually got some of the blue pattern right there, which is pretty cool to match the splitter. Pretty nice. You see the blue right there, a little bit of blue right there. It's a bit different on both, both of these sides. More faded off on this side. On the hood of it right here, you're going to have the blue hexagon pattern up here just a little bit, but the rest of it's going to have that scattered it's more scattered on the front like nose right here when you go up the hood they start kind of getting closer to each other it's more cluttered with that pattern which is super cool looking because you could still see some of the silver design behind it uh, but nonetheless that's how your hood looks like it gets darker as you move up and lighter as you move down and on the sides of this car you're gonna have the blue uh, patterns on it as well you're going to have a bit of blue right here, a bit of blue up here, a bit of blue right here, and then a bit of blue on the quarter panel right there. But the rest of it is going to be pretty, it's going to have like a really subtle backdrop. You only get a wallpaper and it has like a shape on it. So it's pretty much that hexagon pattern, but it's going to have some really big hexagons and some scattered out small ones, as you can see on the hips and on behind the rear quarter window and on the doors of this car. The new number placement honestly makes it easier to see the design it would have looked super cluttered with the number in the middle uh, but nonetheless you can see there's a bit of a pattern back there really subtle across the right side i'll let you guys get a closer look at that for yourselves and of course you're gonna have the blue uh kislowski stripe pillars which is the same stripes as always uh, you're gonna also have that thin line that goes all the way around, just like all the RFK cars. It frames the little contingencies very nicely, but slashes through the Castrol edge. But yeah, just a cool design. Um, just to have like subtle bits of blue and most of it silver. That looks super awesome. And the blue, uh, if you look at the blue linings, the outlines to the hexagons, there are actually some that actually have gradient fade on them, like light is hitting them and they're glowing. Pretty cool, I like that a lot. Here's the back, the lower portion of the bumper in the middle is going to be blue, while the rest is just a light gray with the blue stripe going through it. And on the deck lid right there, you're going to have two big ones right there, and the rest are kind of small. The dark gray, it's going to be for the big, and then the lighter shades of gray are going to be for the smaller little hexagons, and the deck lid right there, pretty nice looking deck lid. And the roof of it's going to have the blue right there and it's going to subtly fade into the darker gray you got two dark gray ones right there two dark gray ones over here and it fades from this hexagon dark gray and blue pattern and it's going to slowly fade away to just be a normal silver color right there pretty interesting honestly it kind of looks like a beehive as i mentioned with the chris busher car but yeah, that's pretty much the kozlowski version of this car here's the left side which looks to be the same as the right side Pretty sure of that. And now it's time for the comparison. And here's what I was talking about with the front splitter. The Busher car doesn't have anything else except a blue or a black splitter. And then, of course, the Kozlowski also has a black splitter. It just has the splitter wrapping over it right there, which is quite interesting to see. I'm not sure if the real car had that. If it didn't, this could be a factory error, but I wouldn't care. It looks cool. Um, anyways, here are the differences. You could tell that there's a lot more of that hexagon pattern covering up the entire 17 car, whereas the Kozlowski, it's more scattered throughout. As you guys can see, I'm comparing them. The hoods, of course, the different color fast on logo, which we touched on. Here are the sides of this car. Of course, you got the black pillars on the 
uh, blue one, whereas the silver one is going to have the blue pillars, as you guys could see. And yeah, there it is. The paint scheme is not the same. It's actually been changed. So thankfully, I remembered that before I started the review. Here is the back of both of the cars, comparing it. So yeah, you guys, as you guys can tell, the Busher one is covered entirely with the pattern, whereas the Kozlowski one, it's really not as much. It's more intense with the Busher car. To get, as you guys could see, both of them had the black roof rails and spoiler. But if you look at it from the top, the design is clearly different. Just very similar uh, to one another. And here are the left sides of these cars. Pretty cool. Pretty cool set. I recommend getting these two together because, and especially in the 124s, putting these together, that would be so awesome. But yeah, one of the better paint schemes of 2023, getting two versions for two different drivers. And what I like about this is that the sponsor of Fast and All, they could have easily given Busher the same, or uh, Kozlowski the same blue livery that Busher has. But no, they actually gave him a different color, swapped the colors, and changed up elements of the paint scheme. So that's something I wish more sponsors would do when they sponsor multiple drivers with the same sponsor. As I'm giving you guys a 360 view, I'm going to talk a little bit more about this die cast. Uh, it's, it's a very cool paint scheme. I highly recommend it. The design of it is super cool. Um, it goes well with the Busher car. And when I first saw this car on the racetrack, I knew I had to get the die cast. It just looks great. Looks phenomenal. I just wish this die cast had a metallic -y, more of like a metallic -y silver finish because I swear I remember this car having more of like a sort of like it was like more like a dark gray silvery color. I don't remember it being this light in real life. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong in the description of this video. Um, but I still kind of remember this being more silver, but the die cast doesn't look bad. You know, this silver also looks pretty cool as well. And I think it probably would have been super hard to wrap all this onto a metallic finish. I'm not sure, guys. Um, I'll have to check that. But nonetheless, I still like the scheme. And of course, got the Get Biofuel logo before I forget if I haven't mentioned it already. I always forget that detail. But there it is, guys. That is the Brad Kozlowski um, Fast and All Silver Ford Mustang for RFK Racing, the Brad Keselowski edition of the Fast and All Cars. So what do you guys think of this diecast? Comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next diecast review. And always remember to make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals on your diecast.